What's up FH fam, it's your homeboy LD here and welcome to yet another video. This time we're going to be talking about reservation requirements, booking requirements for Cebu Landmasters and only Cebu Landmasters although it follows all the requirements, all the documents needed, follows you know standard procedures from all other developers. I'm going to be talking specifically just for Cebu Landmasters, alright? So let's dive into it. Let me begin by showing you the requirements upon reservation. Number one, we have the official CLI SPA. This is a requirement if the buyer is not present during the reservation transaction to be filled up completely, completely with the buyer's name, principal buyer's name, and signature. So this is the special power of attorney document. I or we name do hereby authorize our agent or broker, my name, to reserve, sign, countersign, submit, process, and receive any documents such as term sheets and reservation agreements and other papers or instruments required by Cebu Land Masters Inc. To, prov to reserve or purchase in my name the units identified below. So if the buyer is not present, the agent can reserve on their behalf. This is very important because in the past, there have been cases where there are bogus buyers or, you know, uh, not present buyers or you know, just really fake buyers and in order for the agent to hit their sales goal or their sales quota they reserve despite the fact so with this with this special power of attorney it will be you know it will be clear that the buyer that the actual name and you know that person really is reserving this specific unit in any Cebu Land Masters project and the agent will do so on their behalf okay so in here you put all the details project name unit number unit type reservation date reservation fee total contract price down payment spread over 60 48 months monthly equity of how how much is it uh, how much is it equity start date equity end date the balance shall be paid by bank or pagilig financing okay so there's also a note here I understand that reservation fee is non-refundable, non-transferable, and is valid only for 30 days from reservation date. First equity payment is due and demandable on the 30th day from reservation date. I will be charged with 100,000 pesos as redocumentation fee on any changes in the term of payment or amount as stated above. I further understand and agree to the terms and conditions as stated in the term sheet and reservation agreement. So it's very clear what the client should do during the reservation okay so upon reservation 30 days after that will start the equity the first equity payment but if for example you reserved on the 14th and salary comes every 30th we can request okay i mean i can request on your behalf if your, your reservation happened on the 5th and salary is at the 30th that means it's how many days <laughs> How many days? 25 plus 30, 55 days. So that's too much. What uh, CLI can offer is only up to the 15. So I think it's okay that you that your first equity and succeeding equities will be every 15th if we reserve on the 5th. But in many, in rare special cases, we can request that the first equity be started on the 30th. Okay? So it really depends. Just talk to me or talk to your agent or talk to the civilian masters about your concerns with the payment moving forward okay so this is the cli's format of special power of attorney next we have the buyer's info sheet to be filled up completely and signed by the buyer on the fourth page okay so this is the buyer's info sheet hmm? so you have the unit details you put everything i think that your agent can help you uh, fill this out the seller's data it's the data the data of the agent and the buyer's info so are you the principal are you the co-buyer uh, co-buyer do you have a co-borrower yes or no so that means if my salary is for for a condo that requires a 50k salary and my salary is only 30k i can have a relative a parent a spouse to uh, supplement my salary so that we can hit the total gross income requirement, okay? 
So if my partner's salary is 25 plus mine's is 30, so 30 plus 25, that's 55, then we are qualified to buy this specific unit. We will talk about that in another video, okay? So last name, first name, middle name. Philippine tax identification number. So this is very important. The TIN is very important. You have to have the TIN number. In the past, just so the agent can, you know, close the deal or can finally reserve, they just input random numbers. And they don't know that the implication of that is when we apply, when the CLI applies for the transfer of name from CLI to the new buyer and the new buyer's TIN is fake, so they have to process that again and CLI will, will uh, incur a penalty for submitting a fake TIN. So more additional costs for CLI and we don't want that, okay? Is a TIN engaged in business? Yes or no? Philippine address, that's a priority. Foreign address is optional, especially if you are an OFW. And your Philippine address should match your Philippine address should match your uh, proof of billing. Okay, so the next, uh, I'm, I'm going to talk about the proof of billing. It should match the proof of billing so that when there are like concerns with your payment or whatever, CLI can immediately mail, snail mail, that document to your registered address, which is also your uh, the address in the proof of billing. Okay? Contact number, whether here or abroad, email address, your birth date, please put it, civil status, single, married, widowed, legally separated. Now, why did we put legally separated? It's because there are a lot of people who are not legally separated, yet they still want to buy. If that happens, and we find out that you are not le literally literally legally separated, then we will request for the full documents of your partner, of your spouse. And we don't want, want that if you don't want that. That will just create more problems in the future. Especially for me as a guy, you don't really know if I'm married or not, right? Because my name remains the same. But if the, if the girl gets married, so you know they have to change their name legally. They cannot, they cannot really reserve any real estate project as single. I may be, but that, that's already a problem, okay? So we don't want that you as an agent, if you're watching this, don't create problems just so you can close a deal. It's, it, it, for personally, I'd rather not have the sale than to have problems in the future. Hmm? Citizenship, Filipino or foreigner it's very important because you cannot buy land if you're a foreigner you can buy the building but not the land okay and uh, for foreigners for no problems buy condo units religion just put it there gender male or female just the two guys just the two employment type employed self-employed retired OFW if you're an if you're an uh, if you're a foreigner living abroad, living not in the Philippines, and you have a job there, so you just put employed. Okay. If you're a Filipino and you're abroad, you put OFW. If you're a Filipino and you have, um, you already have a permanent re residency, your uh, passport is already different, not the Philippine passport, so you're employed, not an OFW. Okay. That's very important because it's uh, um, when we submit that to the to the bank of Pagibig, they will look at your employment status and then that will be the basis for their approval or your denial okay name of employer or business employer address very important employer job position and monthly salary so monthly salary salary will be supplemented by your proof of income okay buyer spouse information it's the same as um, the principal buyer's information so last name first name middle name tax and the tax is it engage in business uh, Philippine address contact number email birth date citizenship religion so it's the same attorney in fact if uh, if you are not here in the country and you have an SPA already signed prior to the reservation because you want that someone you trusted that someone to reserve a real estate property before you go abroad so let's put them here okay 
So buyer's info sheet, page 3. The source of funding, is it local, overseas, and which continent? Financing. Any of your preferred banks, please choose. Okay, please choose any of, the, of your preferred banks. Monthly household income, so this is a combined income. If you, if you reserved a single, so any of this, please choose one. If you reserved as a couple, so please, um, what do you call this? Combine, add, add your incomes, okay? Occupation, please check, should be consistent with validated tin, okay? So please put it there. What is your primary purpose of buying? So probably investment for resale or buy and sell or for leasing. This one, renting out, number one reason. Reason for purchase, why did you buy that property? Is it because of a good location, good master plan? You sh they should also add because of a very good agent. <laughs> Type of business, put it there. Are you in the real estate? Are you in the construction? Whatever. Length of business, if you are in the business world, okay? For, for office units, you know, if you have a business, if you own a business, so these are the details that you would want to fill out. And finally, the data privacy consent form. After reading the attached privacy notice, this one, I hereby give my consent to Sibulan Masters or the company verify, to verify and evaluate the personal data, data that I disclose to CLI. So it's very important because you are sharing your personal info to CLI. Okay? So we don't want anything that uh, will implicate CLI for having your information. Maybe you forgot that you reserved and CLI called you. Hello, ma'am. Uh, about your reservation in 38 Park, this one bedroom. And then you will say, what? I didn't reserve anything. How did you know? How, how do you know my number? How did you know my name? So we have to put this so that it will protect CLI from, you know, using your number, from emailing you, and you will not be, you know, triggered by this new whoever person contacted you. Okay? It's very important. Next is your signature. Ah, okay. So... Yes, and these are the rest of the requirements. We've already talked about the first two. Next is one primary ID with three specimen signatures. Two, if you are married. Okay, so what are the primary IDs? Driver's license, passport, uh, Philsis. Uh, what do you call that? National ID. Uh, what else? That's just at the top of my head. Proof of tin. So you have to submit a BIR ID if you have. ITR if you have. BIR form 1904 or 2316 or certificate of registration. Both of you if you are married. There's also one that they did not include. It's the verified slip. So just ask me. Um, I can help you get your TIN verified. Okay. Proof of income. So you have the COE or ITR or three months pay slips or three months latest bank statement or uh, they did not include it here. Bank certificate. That's also a good requirement next is the reservation fee of course so that you can finally seal that property that you wanted for quite a long time you have to pay after submitting all your requirements next additional requirements within the 30 within the 30 day period or before your equity your first equity starts you have the birth certificate nso or psa copy only uh, both okay both if you are married and then marriage certificate so it's now two before, if you are married, you just submit the marriage certificate. Now, aside from the marriage certificate, you both should submit birth certificates. Okay? Complete post-dated checks. This is very important so that CLI will no longer call you every month to pay. And your agent will no longer call you every month to pay. You just submit the post-dated checks the first time. Submit 60 pieces or 48 pieces, whatever the requirement is or however long the equity period is submit the same number of post data checks so those post data checks uh will be seen as uh, every month so if it's every 30th so that's what's today november november 30 december 30 january 30 february 28th march 30 so so on and so forth okay if you don't have a pdc and you're living abroad we can use the auto debit option okay auto debit agreement you have to print the document from your country sign it submit it to me and then we'll submit it to cli okay it should be wet signature digital signatures not allowed and you also have to have the bank that the cert uh, a certain project of cli is partnered with 
So if your bank is just, you know, bank abroad, you cannot use it for auto debit. Mm. Okay, you got it? For, for 38 Park, all the commercial banks are partnered with this. So auto debit agreement across all banks is good. Next, notarize SPA if applicable, if uh, for future, for future, you know, sig uh, documentary signatures, if you don't want to submit, if you don't want to uh, mail, if you don't want to receive it by mail and then mail it to FedEx or whatever, you can just assign a relative for the uh, for, for a notarized SPA so that they can sign on your behalf anytime, anywhere, any day. Okay. And of course, finally, the signed contract to sell. So after the reservation, you will be given the term sheet, the reservation agreement, and the amortization agreement. Now, the amortization sheet that can be signed digitally. Just look at it. We will email it to you. We will uh, send it to you via Messenger or any messaging app. Look at it. Say it's good. Okay, I'm good with this. Then we'll put your digital signature at the bottom. Okay. But for the contract to sell, this is used for the government. Uh, this is used upon transfer of tax, a transfer of name, transfer of, you know, from CLI to your name. This should be wet signature, not uh, digital. So if you, if you're there, uh, you're abroad, you're not in the Philippines, you can print it and then send it here in the country. But if you have a notarized SPA, they can sign it on your behalf as well. Okay, so I think that's it for now. Um, if you have any questions about the requirements of other developers, please let me know. I'm going to turn it into a video so that you can watch it anytime, anywhere that you like. Okay, so that's it for me. See you in the next video. Please comment below whatever you want that we will talk about in the future. Any requirements, if you have any questions about why, you're, why, you, have, or why you are encountering problems during your equity or whatever, please let me know. Thanks. See you in the next video. Bye.